Fraser here, back with another midweek update. I apologize, last week was a little short, but I did some digging, found out some cool things, and well, I got a new rig to show you, so stay tuned. Cut it. Alright guys, so <clears throat> first two I don't really know that much about, but I do know one thing's for sure. Uh, Extreme Raceways, cool place to go, cool store to hit, and an awesome track by the looks of it. I, I, I've got to get out there and try it out for myself. I haven't had the chance yet, but I will be going. So first on the list is the RC Demo and Fun Day at the Jam Up. Uh, that's Friday, August the 23rd and 24th, and that is at Rockton Fairgrounds. I don't know much about it. Uh, really, like I said, I did a little bit of digging and found out some places, but other than that, I, I'm not too sure on what all goes on around there. Might be worth checking out for some of you guys that like to venture in different routes, so give her a look. Have a look on Facebook. Look it up. Might be great. Um, on the 25th, on Sunday, the Extreme Raceways. Now, Extreme Raceways is a great store. Uh, Heather is a awesome person to, to deal with and from what I've seen their track is amazing in there uh, if you got something to run on there give them a shot you'll, you'll enjoy yourself trust me um, after that September 14th Bracebridge Mountain fun run it's just one of those things go out have a good time you know there's gonna be a ton of people you know there's gonna be a ton of excitement so many different obstacles and terrains that have been built over the summer that it's it's an unbeatable rock course guys if you can get out there get out there i've taken so many new people this year to to bracebridge and they literally have fallen in love if they were on the edge of liking rock crawling before they love it after they hit there it's one of the premier places in ontario you have to hit it so again september 14th that's where you're going to want to be. Uh, next up is the event that I'm co-hosting. So the Grand River TTC on September 22nd. Uh, it is a free event, uh, but there's still going to be some prizes. I'm going to give out some t-shirts and some stickers and that kind of stuff. And Dan Phillips has a couple of gift card prizes and things like that. It's just, it's going to be a good time, guys. Uh, I love any kind of crawling and... and for a free event when you're getting prizes, how can you not, right? It, it, it's going to be a blast. So that's another place you're going to want to be. And then, of course, last but not least, the Fall Fling, Rise of the Turkey. We all are going to be there. <clears throat> I know I'm, I, I'm, I'm striving to get there. Um, don't want to miss out on my chance on getting the cross RC. I'll admit it. Come on. It's a nice truck. We, we all know it's a nice truck. So... Uh, Get out there, guys. Uh, the, the fall fling, it, it's crazy. Uh, October 20th, if you miss it, man, you're missing out. Uh, I missed out on the spring fling, which stuff happens, right? Uh, but uh, I'm going to make sure I don't miss out on the fall fling. So uh, that, that's another one that's going to be sheer fight. The only bummer part is, is that signifies that winter's coming. Now, as winter's coming, like I've told you before, I've got a few indoor rock courses that I'm going to want to go and see. <clears throat> and I've got some plans to do certain things. I've got some skis and some paddle tracks and, you know, stuff like that for winter. A few things that I'm going to want to try out uh, just to see how well they work. Uh, planning on getting some chains on either this guy or the new one that I'm about to show you. Um, so, you know, my, my content's not going to stop in the winter, guys. I'm going to keep putting it out there for you and I hope you keep enjoying. So... Next, as for speaking on the new rig, it's not really a new rig, it's my old SCX-10. I just decided to switch up the body a little bit, and this is really my first attempt at a hard body, and I modified the crap out of it to make this work. Now, I'm a big Jeep guy. I've owned a Jeep, I love Jeeps, I love off-roading. I also love a good Truggy. So when it comes to stuff like that, why not mix the two? So introducing, and what I call, the Juggy. Boom, guys. 
Now it is just a regular old SCX10 OG, but now it's a juggy. Of course, I got to put the driver's head and all the scale accessories and all that jazz on there, but she is ready to roll. Uh, of course, once I get the chance, I haven't had much of a chance yet, but all the little, you know, the, the door latches and, and the mirrors and the handles, they're all gonna go green uh, to match the theme of the truck. Uh, I'm hoping to make this puppy here the flagship for the channel, so when you see this truck, you know I'm around. Um, but yeah, it, it turned out really well for my first hard body. Um, a lot of modifications to it, uh, and I had fun doing it. It was a blast. Uh, the thing weighs a ton. I will admit that, it weighs a ton. But it's, it's still my good old SCX-10. That thing never lets me down. Well, ever since I finally got it beefed up to where I needed it to be. Uh, but it, it, it's a phenomenal truck, so I figured I, now's the time to make a hard body with it. And <clears throat> I love it. I, 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 just the sheer look of it, the, the, the weight of it, uh, even with that nice big winch on the front, which FYI, I've got to thank a few people for. Um, you know, it's, it's a great rig uh, and, and I love it. So Randy, thank you for the, the winch. You were a help and more than I think you know. Um, so from here on out guys, I'm hoping that my content uh, keeps continuing. I know I had a little bit of a rough patch there and uh, was a little bit of a, a slowdown for me. Work kind of got a little crazy and well, sometimes that happens with us. I mean, we, we all have to have a day job to be able to play with these things whenever we want, right? Realistically, they're not cheap, so we got to work to do it. And well, work got crazy. So I had to take care of work over taking care of fun. Um, <clears throat> so that being said, this guy here, I just wanted to let you know, uh, is actually up for sale. Uh, <clears throat> I'm looking to get into drifting. So I'm looking to get rid of this bad boy. Now, I've never had issues with this puppy. Uh, it, it's a great truck. Uh, since day one, I mean, I've painted it a couple of times. It got some stickers on it and different things like that. I mean, the only thing that's really ever broken on me is back here, and that's just really cosmetic. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, I mean, third member in the back here is uh, the SSD third member, so that you have no issues running 3S. Because if anybody knows these trucks, they know that if you're running the stock one and you run a 3S, you're going to blow that bearing in the back. That puppy's got the oversized bearing, so there is no worries there. So if if you're interested, I mean, this isn't a plug for me to sell this thing, uh, but if you're interested, hit me up on Facebook and we can talk. Uh, other than that, guys, I mean, this hobby is great. I hope you all love it. I hope you all share it, the whole nine yards. I, I, I promote this hobby more than I even promote myself because first and foremost, this hobby is what I love. I love these little trucks. They make me happy. I don't care where I am, what I'm doing. If I got a truck on the ground and a remote in my hand, I'm a happy man. So I hope these guys had a first great half of the week. I hope you have a great remainder of the week. Other than that, guys, hope to see you around. Hope you enjoyed.